We came here to destroy the last magical spear. We don't have time for a pointless fight. That's right, Blint. There's no reason for us to fight anyone who isn't a member of the Lost Blint. My, how much trouble does my cowardly father plan to cause for us? Father, you're an idiot! That voice. Okay. Is it my daughter, Serafina's? I'm waiting for him to just be one of those rich pig guys. Father? Ha! <laughs> yeah, it is! Ooh, you've returned. It's all right, bodyguards. Stand down. <sighs> We're saved, Blit. Huh? There's still one atrocious looking guy left. <laughs> Oh, you truly are Serafina. I'm glad you've come back. Father! Huh? That's Sis's Pops? I can see the resemblance. They don't look alike at all, Blip. This is quite a mystery. His looks are merely camouflaged to protect himself. It's a simple trick. If he looks scary, fewer enemies will try to invade us. He used to be a refined gentleman with gray hair, but he modified himself, as you can see. He's completely unrecognizable. Shut the fuck up. No. For a coward, he's quite hardcore. He's willing to go to great lengths. Huh. You became a coward when you got too attached to money. Serafina, you came back. Does this mean you've made your decision? About what? Marrying Void Dark, of course. If you two tie the knot, we can strike an alliance with the Lost. Then, Gorgeous won't be destroyed. Where'd the wind come from? Father... There's no time for that. Void Dark launched a magical spear that should have landed somewhere in this netherworld. We need to destroy... Yes, yes, don't worry about that. It wasn't able to pierce through my steel fortress. It was lying around on the floor. The magical spear couldn't pierce the castle, Blit? It must be sturdy. And just where might that magical spear be right now? I thought it would fetch a high price, so I stored it in the throne room. What are you doing? It's dangerous. The magical spear absorbs energy until it's destroyed. Let's hurry up and check out the throne room. W wait a second. Who do you think you are trying to enter the throne room without permission? I don't even know who you are. I won't allow it. Allow me to introduce you, father. This is Sir Kilia, my fiance. Really? When'd you guys get engaged, bro? Well, there goes the best man. Listen. Just play along. I'm kidding. He was never gonna be best man. That was gonna be Ustalia. Hey, hold on. I haven't heard any of this. I won't allow you to marry anyone other than Void Dark! Father, Sir Kilia was once the feared tyrant overlord Kilidia. Do you still object to our union? T tyrant overlord Kilidia? The overlord of Cryoblood? I heard he died. Sir Kilia will surely defeat Void Dark, so there is no longer any need for that other marriage. Hmm, Tyrant Overlord Kilidia. Whoa, whoa! That's pretty cool. This guy's seriously thinking it over now. You're really gonna have to marry your Kilia. I want to kill myself. I'm speechless. My guests, I need to have a word with my daughter regarding her future, so would you please excuse us? We're going to go into another room. I'm going to say no. And she's going to use her superpowers to make me say yes. 
What do you want to talk about? If it's about the marriage, then I refuse. It's not that. <laughs> Gorgeous is currently in great danger. I already know that. That's why we came to destroy the magical spear. I don't care about the magical spear. Something even worse is happening. What is it? Gorgeous, the richest nation in all of the three <laughs> worlds, is financially bankrupt. What? All of Gorgeous's wealth is gone. I've invested it all to construct this colossal underground shelter. Zero cash, zero art, and zero jewelry. I've sold and spent it all. Except for my really cool monocle. Which means you and I are now both poor. No! What happened to all my clothes and jewelry? I sold those a long time ago. Because of my cowardly father, I am now poor? Ah, uh, are you going to shoot your father? Killing me won't change the fact that you're poor. <laughs> ah! This is only a dream. Yes, it must be a dream. Serafina, do you hate being poor? Of course! To be fair, nothing really has changed. Yes, I hate it too. That is why we need to turn the people you brought with you over to the Lost. Tyrant Overlord Kilidia and the Scorching Storm Overlord Red Magnus, all of them would fetch a high price. What are you saying, Father? I'm fine with selling out that musclehead Red Magnus, but Sir Kilia is my fiance. Who cares? I've been tricking all of the <laughs> Overlords and Majins who wanted to marry you and stole all of their valuables. <laughs> what did you say? There's nothing wrong with that. I wanted to give you a good life, so I've been using you as bait to make money. <laughs> no, tell me that's a lie. I did it all for you. You don't want to be poor, do you? You've basically turned her into kind of a whore. Well... I really don't like not having money. Then it's settled. You're going to be helping me. Also on top of this, the plot of this chapter Let's does not fucking to... work in any way at all because it is her being forced by someone else to do something who they have already revealed is susceptible to her own power to hypnotize people. Like to go, dude? It doesn't work. If she goes, I have no choice at any point in this map, I'm gonna fucking vomit all over the carpet. Worst part, I have hardwood floors. I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but I'll do it. Serafina is taking a long time, Flip. I wonder what they're talking about. Obviously, it's about marrying Kilia. Perhaps there's been a surprise turn of events and they're planning the ceremony. I hate my life. Stop it. That's not funny. But she'd be a sugar mama. It might not be that bad after all, bro. He doesn't need a sugar mama. Then you do it for me. I, I can't. I don't have enough lives to endure that. <laughs> there aren't a lot of guys who can break that fucking bronco. <laughs> who are you calling a fucking bronco? Serafina! Are you alright, Flip? Did your father scold you? Of course, I'm fine. With my Baylor gaze, convincing my father is as easy as pie. That's not called convincing. Are you sure you're okay? You don't look so good. Also about the marriage. No. <laughs> Just Killian, no. Are you worried about me? I'm worried that you're going to ruin my life. He's worried about a person like me? I don't want to hear about a prenup. It's pointless to worry about a penniless pauper like me. Don't use the word pauper. Plus, I am trying to sell you all out to the lost to become rich again. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? I absolutely refuse to be poor. Because, because I am the overlord of gorgeous. 
My brilliant and dazzling netherworld. I'll become the devil herself if that's what it takes to get my elegant lifestyle back. It's fine. We could just go do a couple of the maps in cheat mode with max money and I'm pretty sure we could rebuild in like a couple hours. But I don't even want to think about losing Sir Kilia and my other wonderful ally. I mean, servants. Oh, what should I do? They've never done anything servant-like for you. Closest thing is when Kilia makes dinner. Are you sure you're okay? It's nothing. <laughs> now, let's go destroy the magical spear. Prinnies. They're the prinnies that my father hired. I wonder what happened. Today's the deadline, dude! Give us what you promised! Oh, no. Promised? What are you talking about? If you have any complaints, bring them up with my father. Your father has been ducking us. We can't find him anywhere, dude. We've been waiting for our paychecks for half a year. We can't wait any longer, dude. Unpaid workers? That's unacceptable. Paying the workers is the employer's job. What are you guys doing? You're rich. Just hurry up and pay them, sis. Half a year is six cans of sardines per pretty, dude. We want you to pay us all right now, dude. I think I have like 30 sardines in my item bag, so I can give it to them. Six cans of sardines for half a year? So your salary is one can a month? What a sweatshop. No, a sweat netherworld. <laughs> well, we're talking for any wages here. That seems about right. That's racist. What's wrong, Sarah? Hurry up and pay them. Yeah, we even have that in hell right now. I've got like a few mil. I don't even have a single fish to pay a printy. Ah, I can't believe this, dude. You're just using us. Unfair practices. In that case, I'll slice you in three and stuff you into a sardine can, dude. The explanation for this fight is undefendably bad. In my world, I should be able to pay them. A no lifting. A no lifting thing. If I'm going by this, I don't think there's any way to max the bonus gauge here unless you wanted to travel halfway across the world. Though I haven't had my guide up in a while, so I might as well have a look at that. Let's see. Doesn't really seem seem like there's anything here. We could try and get all the way up there. We might. Let's go. Whatever we do, we should start heading heading yeah. over. Huh. Hellfire shot should reach all of them. Ah. Die, you stupid frenies! No, dude. <laughs> God damn it. Just hearing that fucking sound clip, it's so bad. I'll never let anyone feel pain. Except the people you're about to let feel pain. Unless you're gonna try and one-shot the enemy and maybe they won't feel pain and it'll just be instant. Come on. Leave it to me, Blitz. Let's go. Might as well just throw characters. It probably will help. Come on. Hey, you can do magic now. Yeah. Is that all? All right, let's go. No, dude. Yeah, dude. Oh, she's gonna die. Well, I feel bad about that. Don't you boing. 
Don't you boing me. Alright, you guys are dead. Oh my god, it sounds so terrible. <laughs> So this is probably one of the coolest looking attacks. He absorbs the sun and then destroys all the planets. That's a really high quality sprite too. Alright, we have two-handed draw. Gospel of power, which can't reach anything. How far can you move, Kilia? Let's go! As much as I kinda want you to wait, you can go even further than I want. Could do Cryo Heartbreaker, but no, oh, that's a D plus. Fuck that. You can do Hellfire Shot. I say that, but then pick a move that technically does less damage according to the graph. Whatever. The amount of fucking dudes I'm hearing is. I think it'll give me cancer. Untreatable. Can you believe me? How about it? Oh, you can't... You can't lift people who are on that panel? That sucks. That's fine. You can just go over here. Let's continue our trek. Yeah, there's... Oh, it's no lifting is the rule, actually. It's not no throwing. That's the rule, then I can actually abuse it. Nah, that okay. I was I was hoping maybe running on top of someone would work. It doesn't. It doesn't. I was I was there's a loophole, but the loop the loophole's been covered. They're just, just straight up. They it should just be no throwing because you're not gonna throw. I am happy that we're pretty much going to be ending, uh, heading into major plot stuff in the next chapter, because this filler is a little eh. Mostly because they, for some reason, put this after Kilia has his character development chapter. That really should have been the last one. That should have been the, 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 the last little, you know, the last person to grow should have been him. Seraphina should have been the first, to be honest, because really, there's no reason for her not to be. Her character is the one in desperate need of it. Of course, I've said this before, but... Yeah. It it stands repeating that this should not be the last chapter before Endgame. Come on. Because, come on now. Yeah. Seems like it, it kind of gets tagged on at the end here, when it... You know, a good way to jump... Right, right into the end game stuff is Kilia awakening to his uh, his his new overload and mastering a video holy water. I feel like that that's a better transition than the one that we uh, than than this. This seems out of place, and I don't even think she's a terrible character. I just think that 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 she's an asshole. <laughs> Which is kind of to be expected. That's kind of a Disgaea character type of trait, where plenty of where plenty of characters are in fact assholes. It's just hers went on for a while there. The entire squad attacks. Sure. Let's end this quick. Let's go. How many can I kill? 
Oh. My. <laughs> you okay? Eat. Shit. It's a hundred million light years too soon for a printy to disobey me. Hey sis, I fought back because I had no choice. But no matter how you look at this situation, it was all your fault. I like how she's mad, like, how dare they disobey me. One, they work for your father. Two, you didn't pay them. What happened? You're for six different. months. If you have a problem, don't hesitate to tell us. Aren't we your allies? Sir Kilia. <sighs> if only I could just throw away my shame, reputation, and everything else, and jump into Sir Kilia's arms. Oh, what a shame. I don't want anyone to know that I'm poor. <sighs> I wish I could just die in Sir Kilia's arms. He could crush you with those dragon hands he's got. I'm having so much fun taking over the universe! Wow. Oh, this splendid power is going to be Lord Boy Darks. This will make it very simple to take complete control over the entire Netherworlds. Lord Boy Dark? Can the ritual be performed now? Nothing is impossible for you anymore, Lord Boy Dark. The what? However, taking the worst case scenario into account, I think you should absorb the last spear's energy. Very well. You've gained so much power already, and this might be insignificant, but... No. Failure is not an option. We must be fully assured of success. This motherfucker is absorbing the entire multiverse netherworld's energy so he can bring back his sister. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Okay, that actually makes a lot of sense. That's probably it too. Cuz really, fix you up. how does how does one go from random asshole who wanted to learn his dad's demon technique and ends up killing his sister to I'm just going to take over the universe. It didn't really make sense as a jump. Where would you like to go, dude? But using it as a guise for this kind of works. And by kinda, I mean, eh, it works. It gives him more depth, I guess. Seraphina, what is taking you so long? Then again, I like Void Dark because he looks fucking cool, so anything else is a bonus. Oh no. Is she going to betray her father? <sighs> she ran away from home and brought home a fiance. Spoiling her has backfired. Hey, you guys! Our guests will arrive soon. Take good care of them. But take extra care when handling my daughter, Serafina. Hey, guys, get out of the way! Whoa, what? What are you doing? Hey, Sarah! Looks like these jabronis want to fight us! I see. So he's already made the next move. Father, you're always quick to act in situations like this. What do you mean? Our objective is to destroy the final magical spear. We will not tolerate anyone standing in our way. 